In his first visit to Assam since getting re-elected last year, Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Friday hailed the Bodo Accord as the beginning of a new era of peace for the North East and gave assurance on the Citizenship Amendment Act, which has created unrest in the state. Addressing a gathering that he himself described as the largest political one in India since independence, PM Modi outlined his government's vision of development for the Northeast in his speech as he looked to pivot back to the activist policy that has suffered a setback since major protests engulfed the region over the last two months. Prime Minister Modi also described the signing of the peace accord with the Bodos as a new dawn for the state and called it the ushering of a permanent peace. He said, I welcome the people who were part of the Bodoland movement to the Indian mainstream. Let us hear what Prime Minister Modi said. Jis vyakti ne aneg janmo se nirantar punne kamaya hai, vahi vyakti is bharat desh mein janm leta hai. Ye bhaavna asam ke kone kone mein, asam ke kan kan mein, asam ke jan jan mein, isi bhaavna ke chalte, भारत के स्वतंत्रता संघर्ष से लेकर भारत के नव निर्माण में असम ने अपना खून और पसीना बहाया है ये भूमि आजादी के लिए त्याग तपस्या करने वालों की भूमि है मैं आज असम के हर साथी को ये आश्वस्त करने आया हूं कि असम विरोधी देश विरोधी हर मानसिकता को इसके समर्थकों को देश न बर्दाश्त करेगा न कभी देश माफ करेगा साथियों यही ताकतें हैं जो पूरी ताकत से असम और नॉर्थ ईस्ट में भी अफवाहें फैला रही हैं कि सिटीजनशिप अमेंडमेंट एक्ट सी से यहां बाहर के लोग आ जाएंगे बाहर से लोग आकर बस जाएंगे मैं असम के लोगों को आश्वस्त करता हूं कि ऐसा भी कुछ भी नहीं होगा अ वर्ड हैज बीन एक्सपांश फ्रॉम प्राइम मिनिस्टर नरेंद्र मोदी स्पीच इन पार्लियामेंट ऑन थर्सडे व्हेन ही टुक ऑन द ऑपोजिशन इन राज्यसभा ऑन द नेशनल पॉपुलेशन रजिस्टर अ वर्ड वाज आल्सो रिमूव्ड फ्रॉम कमेंट्स मेड बाय ऑपोजिशन लीडर गुलाम नबी आजाद ऑफ द कांग्रेस इट इज रेयर फॉर अ प्राइम मिनिस्टर्स वर्ड टू बी डिलीटेड फ्रॉम पार्लियामेंट्री रिकॉर्ड्स but it is not unprecedented in 2018 some words were dropped from pam modi's comments on congress leader bk hari prasad he had used the word play on mr hari prasad's initials which was seen as derogatory a day before delhi goes to polls the election commission on friday issued a notice to delhi chief minister arvind kejriwal over a video he uploaded to his twitter account The poll body said that Kejriwal violated the model code of conduct through the video that has the potential to disturb the communal harmony in the state. The election commission has given him time till 5 p.m. on Saturday to respond to the notice, failing which action will be taken against him. The Shiv Sena on Friday praised Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal for his government's ideal work in the last 5 years. Chief Sena said PM Modi and Amit Shah are leaving no stone unturned in Delhi assembly elections the BJP could not come to power in Maharashtra and lost in Jharkhand and therefore the BJP wants to win Delhi and there is nothing wrong in it that's what Sena said in an editorial in the Marathi newspaper Samna The Bharatiya Janata Party registered a complaint with Delhi Police Commissioner on Friday over a spoof of famous Bollywood movie Shole According to the BJP's complainant against Aam Aadmi Party, the AAP supporters are allegedly circulating the misleading Shole spoof to tarnish the image of BJP. A morphed Shole scene showed Amit Shah as Gabbar, the villain in the original movie. Senior Maharashtra Congress leader Nasim Khan on Friday filed a police complaint against BJP spokesperson Sambit Patra for allegedly sharing a fake video on social media. Khan said the video in question was made by an RSS worker during the Maharashtra assembly polls held in October last year and at that time too he had filed a case with the police Samit Patra had shared the video claiming that Nasim Khan chanted Pakistan Zindabad at his rally 
Nasim Khan has filed a police complaint with Sakinaka police and even with election commission.